Welcome back, everybody, to 2KCW. We are grateful for you to join us here in Utica, New York, for another exciting night of 2KCW. We're going to kick things off here with a Tornado Tag Team match between the Red River Connection and the Elements. Buck McCoy on your left, Keith Mayfield on your right. Mayfield, well, we thought he was going for a bit of a singles outing here. I mean, he did defeat our current champion, Devin Andrews, back at Adrenaline. But that's in the past. What matters is the present. Does the Red River Connection have to deal with the elements? Frostbite and heat stroke. Both these teams trying to gun for position. They try and knock off the tag team champions. The Awakening. Well, again, just surprisingly have been still the undefeated tag team champions. Both Frostbite and Heatstroke, they are cousins. From Huntsville, Alabama. They do have a little bit of difference in their in their move set. A family that trains together stays together. But here we go. Tornado tag match. Underway. Heat Stroke and McCoy, Mayfield and Frostbite. That's the current pairings right here and now. Single leg bust and crab here by Mayfield. As McCoy takes down Heat Stroke with a single leg drop kick, it looked like. Get a bit of a dueling chant here by, oh my goodness, look at that miscommunication between the elements. Heatstroke just took down his own partner. I would assume that was inadvertent, but I mean, we have seen miscommunications between them in the past. Hopefully everything's okay between the two. McCoy. Tilt the world DDT. Taking down Heat Stroke. Mayfield with a roll up cover here. Only a one count on to Frostbite. McCoy. Body scissors around the neck of Heat Stroke delivering an elbow right at the top of the head. And Frostbite teeing off here on Mayfield. And Heatstruck dumping McCoy outside the ring. Heatstruck, what's he looking for here off the top turnbuckle? Cover here by Frostbite, kick up by Mayfield. And Heatstruck looked like a, almost going for like a famous or a seated senton. Missing the mark regardless. Into the turnbuckle goes Mayfield by Frostbite. Into the corner. Frostbite chops away on Mayfield. And going shoulder first into the ring post. And the elements are in full control here against the Red River Connection. Heat stroke setting up for the sunburn. There's a rolling Death Valley driver by Frostbite. The sunburn to Buck McCoy cover here. And kick out by McCoy. Frostbite was feeling confident, thinking that was going to be the end of the match as well. Drop kick, standing Spanish fly by Heat Stroke. Flying forearm from Frostbite. And again, the elements are in control here against the Red River Connection. Kicking off the show this week, series of 
forearms by heat stroke into the Fujiwara armbar by frostbite as Mayfield can be forced to tap out of the armbar no looks like And then now McCoy is the one stuck in the armbar as well from Heat Stroke. It was almost like they were going to grab each other to prevent a tap out here. Power bomb by Frostbite cover. McCoy knocking out the referee. Stop the pinfall. Double underhook. Backbreaker by Heat Stroke. This match is going 100 miles an hour from the opening bell. Now Heat Stroke setting up again. Again for the sunburn to Buck McCoy. And now into a regal stretch here by Keith Mayfield to Frostbite. And that added extra time for Buck to recuperate off the sunburn. Now Frostbite. So here's a close lines into the drop kick. And now again into the Fujiwara armbar. Went frostbite and now it's Heat Stroke with one of his own. Is Buck gonna tap out here out of the, the armbar? Yes he does. The elements have picked up a victory over the Red River Connection. What a match between these two teams. There's that rolling Death Valley driver. And into that Tilt a World Fujiwara armbar. I almost cringe at any time I have to see a Fujiwara armbar because that just can go all sorts of wrong ways. Especially at the velocity that the elements were going. And that could tear a rotator cuff or pop a shoulder out of its socket. Hopefully that will build some momentum for the elements to take on the champions. But ladies and gentlemen, we got some more women's action coming up next. Well, folks, last week, Tori Crawford picked up a victory over Charlie Evans. But now it's time for Tia Green to step up. And of course, she's accompanied by Tori. They're best friends, and not very often do they compete in tag team matches together, but they are opposite ends of the same coin, essentially. Ready for women's action here. And here comes Jenna Jordan, who was also in the Girls Grand Prix. Actually, faced off against Christine Buckley. At the girls grand prix in a great opening matchup unfortunately for jenna that she was not able to advance in the tournament well, i guess i gotta correct myself here a little bit after what i said last week about dizzy winning the girls grand prix that was actually won by returning candace LeRae. the tournament itself but then the finals was a shot for the championship the vacant title that was eventually won by Dizzy Jet. So, just want to clarify that for everyone at home. Tia Green and Jenna Jordan. Collar and elbow tie up into the waist lock controlled by Green. Take down by Green. Switching into the waist lock controlled by Jordan into her own waist lock takedown. 
Into the side headlock. And now into almost a scarf hold here. By Tia Green. Great technical wrestling on display here, but what else would you expect is a Jenna Jordan match. Jenna looking for a right outside kick. A little slam by Green. And into the crucifix bomb by Jordan. Angle drop kick missing for Jenna Jordan. Tia Green into the takedown, into the ground and pound here. Going into the cover on Jordan, not even a one count. Referee's hand just barely making it to the mat, and Jenna was able to kick out. Jawbreaker by Jordan. Into the tilt of world head scissors from Jenna Jordan. Into the corner, running knee. Also kitchen sink into the corner by Tia Green. And what's she going for here? A sidewalk or a backbreaker. Now maybe for a sidewalk slam. Just look at the strength of Green on display to carry Jordan across the ring the way she has. Over here by Tia Green. One count. Ladies and gentlemen, I can confirm for you in our main event, Kendrick Gore, who interrupted a world title match, a championship match last week, will be making his debut against Curtis Christian. That's coming up next in our main event. Joining Jordan now. We're going to end this match quickly with a make a wish to Tia Green two no Green gets the kick out Jenna's got to continue on keep up the attack here on Green another double leg takedown here another ground and pound by Green Into the cover. Enough to put away Jordan. No, one count only. And now Green again, another backbreaker. And now just stretching out Jordan. And now Tia Green looking for the what she calls a dudette buster. We're lucky not going to the cover right away, knowing that she's got to do more to Jenna Jordan to put her away. Two count by Green. Or four Green, I should say. And now Jordan. Double under, hook, slam, butterfly suplex, rather. Beautifully done there by Jenna Jordan. Into the corner goes Green. And now Jordan setting up Green up on the top turnbuckle. Looking for something big here. Looking for a hurricane run off the top turnbuckle. And there you still see Crawford there on the top left corner. Your screen still. Not getting too involved in the matchup. Spin heel kick misses by Jordan. And now an uppercut by Jordan into the clothesline. Knocking down green like a ton of bricks. The standing corkscrew there by Janet Jordan. And now, uh, I, oh, come on now. I just praised Tori for not getting involved in the matchup, and she removed the turnbuckle pad, distracting the referee. Jenna being serving Crawford some turnbuckle padding animal style and now green with a swing neck breaker into the splash there now Crawford with a referee or I'm, I'm sorry Crawford with a chair unaware is the referee 
The Crawfords now introduce a chair into this match. Again, like I said, opposite heads of the same coin is Green and Crawford. Crawford will do what it takes to win a match. Will and Green will abide by the rules. And now she's going for it again, going for the Dudet Buster. And again, the referee. It's almost like at this point that Crawford's almost sabotaging her, just sabotaging or really wanting to get in the head of Crawford, or, uh, Green for one reason or another. Drag the referee while Green hits the Dudet Buster. Now we go into a straight jacket submission here to Jenna Jordan Jordan able to break free out of it and now we're going up to the top turnbuckle Green chops her right back on the floor Crawford Excuse me, Green. What's Green looking for here? Looking for a sit-out power bomb. Cover here by Tia Green too, and that's gonna do it. Surprise victory move maneuver by Tia Green. Great matchup between Tia Green and Jenna Jordan. But again, just Tori's just sticking her nose where it doesn't belong sometimes, even again to the advancement for Tia Green to possibly win the match. But I mean, I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, our main event Curtis Christian takes on Kendrick Gore. Time for our main event. Curtis Christian, accompanied by his tag team partner, Cameron Neo, collectively the Sea Batteries, who went on a hell of an undefeated streak here in 2KCW until they met the champions back at Adrenaline for the tag team championships. I just want to remind everybody at home, our next event is Feel the Bang. Of course, that means that special guest for the evening is none other than Diamond Dallas Page himself. We still have yet to announce a date, an official date for that event, as well as when tickets will go on sale. What degree will possibly that Page himself may even be in a match? We'll have to wait and find out. Or is Kendrick Gore? Is here in 2KCW with the rest of his brothers over in the GAW Academy. Making a hell of a name for himself in the underground and the other independent promotions. I mean, just even without his entrance gear, Kendrick Gore is an intimidating individual, and I can say that as, as I'm safely here behind the commentary booth. But even just, like, again, the rest of his family over in the GAW Academy. Kingston. I'm sorry, Kendrick Gore. Commanding. Respect. As he enters the ring. In his debut match 
the 2KCW as an official member of the roster here against Curtis Christian. A real David and Goliath battle spinning back heel kick from Kendrick Gore. Is throwing Christian across the ring. Look at that. As a late great Roddy Piper said when describing the Undertaker, look at the size of that ham hock. A real David and Goliath battle we got here between Christian and Gore. Kendrick Gore sent into the corner. Christian having to go way up high to connect to any maneuver to Kendrick Gore. DDT by Gore. Into the cover off the DDT. One count by Christian. Spinning back over by Curtis Christian. The young man cover here onto Kingston. Barely a one count. And immediately on his feet is Gore, but maybe not for long. Curtis Christian with a hacks kick to Kendrick Gore. Gore now commanding the match here with a running high knee and not even backing down off that clothesline attempt by Christian. Hung up on the top rope and gained another couple of feet off the shoulders of Kendrick Gore. And now Gore just grabbing him by the collarbone and just throwing Christian across the ring. Into the cover now goes Gore. One count, and if I was refereeing this match, I would make sure I'm doing everything exactly I can to my power and not to piss off Kendrick Gore. You can probably knock your head off wave in the back to the nosebleeds. If given the opportunity. Christian Hangman's DDT. To Kendrick Gore, never seen that maneuver out of Christian's playbook. Cover here by Curtis Christian. One count. Rear chin lock now applied by Christian. He's got a lot of ground to cover. I'm trying to put that headlock onto Gore. I'm, not even, I'm pretty sure, I mean, Gore's torso is just as big as Christian's arm. My God, look at that. The grim downfall. Oh, now Cameron Neo. Neo, I think you made a mistake there, my friend. Just made a quick enemy of Kendrick Gore by distracting the referee and not ending the match right there. You may have just cost your partner there as well. The grim downfall connected to Christian. And now, I'm going to snap DDT. By Kendrick Gore. Gore looking to put this match away. Going for the Sword of Discord. To Curtis Christian. Cover here. Thankfully it's over. For Curtis Christian. Kendrick Gore making an impressive debut. Here in 2KCW. Welcome sir. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for our show this week. We hope you enjoyed. Hope you will join us next week for more exciting action for 2KCW. We will see you next time.